I want to do some more measurements with the old uh, oscilloscope in a nice office environment instead of my uh, messy house. Plasma, of course, seen it before. Um, 167,000 hertz. What does the old oscilloscope think it's doing? There's the measurements window for this oscilloscope. If I hold it still, it'll, you know, it says 167,000 kilohertz. And that's what it's running. That's just with a probe in front of it. It's showing wireless. I usually, if I bring it down a little bit. Hopefully I can get some of the harmonics and the weird effects. And you know, I've, I was doing some ones with like 50,000 hertz. It was showing, well, much higher, much higher frequencies. twice as high and usually I was getting clutches of harmonics depending on what waveform I was using but this is just square wave it's running 167,000 Hertz on there and it's running 167,000 Hertz on the cheap oscilloscope window um, so that's frequency validation anyways in, in one manner of speaking oh well, like and subscribe um, if you want to see more of these uh, tests, let me know. I've been shooting a few of these videos lately, so I definitely have the footage. Um, just try to show you what's happening when I switch it to 50,000 or something. Well, it's something normal like hmm, 528 hertz. That's something you should be running with contact, and I think the reason is it just leaves out the harmonics. Get some sounds of it. you can hear it better than it's picking it up on there and it's just that's me touching the metal on the top jumping all over the place change this waveform to hopefully something a lot more practical. I think the square 90 is pretty good at about this range. Pinch, the pinches in the beam. That's square 90. Oh, I know. I know I gotta change this stupid window too. Nanoseconds get away from there. One millisecond actives.
gotta climb, you freak. <laughs> 